What's up, everybody? This is Bulletbender56. Uh, I'm doing a video response to Brandon 401 401s uh, 5,000 subscriber contest giveaway. Basically, wants us to show a favorite firearm and knife on a video and talk about it a little bit, and uh, or you can leave a comment in this comment section below, or you can do a couple shoutouts, uh, a video uh, for channels you like, channels maybe you want other people to uh, know about or check out if they're really awesome. But uh, anyways, let's get down to it. My favorite knife would have to be uh, not the Kukri, because uh, for field use, I, I, I really like it, but for everyday carry, it would have to be the Kershaw Skyline, uh, just for because I use it in my work most of the time, and it is a, uh, a workhorse. It's got a little wear and tear on it. Um, right, as, right now, it's riding on the uh, uh, TAC Force Universal Drop Leg Holster, which is carrying the uh, Glock 17 with the TLR3 on it. Um, not liking that light, by the way. Uh, sorry. Anyways, um, but uh, definitely the this knife here, if I can ever get it off. <coughs> there it goes. Um, as you can see, definitely there's a little little bit of wear, but uh, nothing, nothing fancy. I mean, it's still sharp. Um, I've never sharpened it. I never needed to. Uh, it's, it's straight from the factory. It came pre-sharpened, and it's a good quality knife. Uh, Kershaw makes a good good brand of knives, but this one's just it's sleek and it's it's lightweight. And I, I, sometimes I even forget it's there, uh, unfortunately, when I really need it. But uh, it is a really good knife, and I highly recommend this knife to anyone who's looking to buy a lightweight, uh, high quality EDC knife. I mean, I've dropped it on the blade. I don't know how many times. Uh, it's it's never fallen out of my pocket intentionally, uh, but when when I'm using it, um, it's either slipped my hand or something. I don't know butterfingers, but anyways, uh, favorite firearm. Uh, most of you are familiar with the Mossberg 500 shotgun. I'm trying to get a view of it. Originally, it was my favorite due to its. Uh, Mobility, its accuracy, and its, I don't know, accuracy on a shotgun. Uh, if you go through some of my videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. But, uh, I really like it, but I'm afraid it's not my favorite anymore. It is still primarily one home defense, uh, shotgun, but I have a new project I'm working on, and that's kind of, it's kind of taking over what, what this used to be. And that project is this one. In all honesty, Ruger 1022. With Tapco Interfusion Tactical T6 stock, I believe is what it's called. Bushnell TRS-25, writing on top. And uh, it's currently undergoing testing, but uh, so far I'm so I'm really really happy with it. And uh, had a, had a little bit of issue in the beginning. Uh, the trigger housing, or the, actually the trigger mechanism broke. Uh, sent it back to Ruger. Uh, quick, quick as a whistle, they sent it back and. Uh, replace the whole thing with a brand new one uh... so thumbs up on ruger for that one but ever since then you know it's it's worked great i mean no problems whatsoever uh... but that's basically my two favorite choices for maybe maybe not so or more so a zombie apocalypse but more so favorite choices as a uh... just kinda out of my picks for for now uh, may vary different in the future but um, the Glock uh, I would have chosen it but due to the issues in the beginning I probably will choose it later but it's still undergoing testing and I'm still not quite done with it and it, it, that's why it's been taking me so long I have all this all this stuff here to test and it, it I can't do it in all the same sequence of videos I gotta do it in multiple different videos because it takes a lot of time and uh, one person posted on one of my videos, he said, uh, well, 22s aren't really a, a training type of uh, firearm. They're, they're morely just for, they're morely for ignorance. Uh, people that, that uh, can't, uh, can't handle a real gun. I have to disagree. I think 22s are a good way to train maybe uh, kids, a uh, young, younger group of uh, shooters, maybe new shooters that don't really, aren't, aren't really, too fond of weapons and only kind of go off what the media shows and uh, 
you don't want to give them a big 12 gauge shotgun nor pistols that could recoil and they could smack their own faces I've, I've seen experiences with that uh, 22 is a good option and you can give them something fun if it's kids you can give them something fun like I just drew this up and you can you know have them shoot at it kind of give them a basic call out some numbers and see if they can hit them or the diamond in the middle uh, the little Sig Sawyer's, so nobody gets pissed. Sig Sawyer's uh, handgun right there, and the uh, uh, Kukri. Just you know, just something to shoot at, just something fun. Um, and if you're a little bit older, maybe a teen shooter, you want something you know, a little more video game-ish. Uh, a lot of people play Call of Duty. Uh, they love the zombies modes, and uh, they want something in that nature, but they don't really, really like firearms. Again, uh, due to multiple reasons uh, you can give them something like this and they can they can have uh, a lot of fun with it and this these targets are made by uh, dark darkotic darkotic targets they're really good targets does really good work on them and I'd recommend you check them out they got a lot of different types of zombie targets and uh, some other ones but that's my video and uh, thanks